Apple's iPad lineup is arguably something that's unmatched by any other platform or tablet maker. With a newly refreshed iPad mini, along with a speedier iPad, that sentiment is very likely to grow. We have included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Apple's tried and true tablet, the base model iPad, is arguably the best value out of the group. You get all of the same features as the more expensive Pro and Air models in a lightweight form factor with a 10.2-inch display. Apple updated the iPad in the fall of 2021 with the A13 Bionic processor and new storage options doubling the previous offering to 64GB and 256GB, respectively. The entry-level iPad is perfect for students or someone who needs a tablet for watching their favorite Netflix shows and ordering groceries but doesn't truly want it to replace their laptop. Apple hasn't expanded its facial recognition hardware beyond the iPad Pro lineup quite yet. And with the iPad Air and iPad Mini now without a home button, the 9th generation iPad is the only tablet left in the lineup with a home button with Touch ID. There is, however, a smart connector to add Apple's smart keyboard, turning the iPad into more of a laptop than a tablet. And of course, it supports the Apple Pencil. Better yet, the iPad starts at $329, but you can often find iPad deals that bring the price down to $299 or cheaper. It's incredibly powerful and even more affordable. Apple announced the completely redesigned iPad Air late in 2020. The fourth-generation Air features the same design as the iPad Pro lineup, bringing back the flat-edge design Apple first used in the iPhone 4. The Air sits confidently between the base iPad and the iPad Pro in terms of performance and price, with a 10.9-inch display, a Touch ID sensor that's been moved to the power button, so long home button, and it works with the magic keyboard for iPad and second-generation Apple Pencil. Where the iPad Pro is the model for those who want nothing but the best, the iPad Air is the model for those who want to use the tablet for work and play, without big sacrifices in performance or features. Starting at $599, the iPad Air comes with 64GB or $749 for 256GB of storage. You can add cellular to it for an extra $130. For almost everyone, this is the iPad to get if you have the cash to spend. Apple's 2021 iPad Pro lineup, unveiled in March, is by far the most capable and impressive iPad lineup we've seen. It's also the most expensive, by a long shot. The design hasn't changed all that much on the outside, but on the inside you'll find Apple's M1 processor. Yes, that's the same exact processor that Apple is currently using in many of its Mac computers. We spent some time with the 12.9-inch iPad Pro and found it to be faster and more capable than any other iPad model we tested to date. Another highlight of the larger iPad Pro is its mini LED display that Apple calls Liquid Retina XDR, which is brighter and offers more color contrast. The Thunderbolt 4 port enables faster syncing between the iPad and external storage devices, as well as more reliable connections to external monitors, hopefully in the future that means true external monitor support. The Pro also supports the second-generation Apple Pencil with a magnetic spot on the side to charge it. The smart connector is on the back of the iPad Pro, giving you the option to use it with a magic keyboard that includes backlit keys and trackpad or Apple's smart keyboard. The iPad Pro, combined with iPad OS, is as close as you can get to a laptop without actually buying a laptop. The 11-inch iPad Pro starts at $799 for the Wi-Fi model and $999 for the Wi-Fi Plus cellular model, and the 12.9-inch iPad Pro starts at $1,099 for the Wi-Fi model and $1,299 for the Wi-Fi Plus cellular model. If you want something smaller and more manageable, the iPad mini fits the bill. Apple's recent update to the mini brought it current with the company's new flat edge design, a USB-C port for charging and data transfer, and support for the second-generation Apple Pencil. 
It's powered by the A15 Bionic processor, and the display size was increased from 7.9 inches to 8.3 inches. By removing the home button and putting Touch ID in the top button that's used to sleep slash wake the tablet, the overall size of the Mini actually decreased. There's a spot on the right side of the tablet to charge the Apple Pencil, and it makes for a fantastic tablet to draw or write notes on. You have the option of 64 GB or 256 GB of storage, with the former priced at $499 and the latter $649 for the Wi-Fi only models. If you want to add cellular connectivity, you're looking at a $150 increase. It's smaller, but also more expensive. So unless you really value the size, you're better off going with another iPad. <laughs>